Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I uh, appreciate the fact that we are able to have this hearing today, uh, considering the nomination of Colette Honorable to serve as commissioner on the FERC. Uh, I think we recognize that this is an increasingly important independent agency. Uh, to Ms. Honorable, I would like to welcome you back to the committee in your capacity as president of NARUC. You've been a national figure in e energy regulation. Our committee has had the benefit of your testimony and your expertise at our electric reliability hearing last spring. And through your role at NARUC and as the chair of the Arkansas Public Service Commission, I think it's clear that you have seasoned experience that I believe will be an asset at FERC. I do appreciate the willingness to serve. At its core, FERC's purpose is to ensure rel reliable energy at just and reasonable rates. By one rough measure, the energy transmitted over FERC-regulated pipes and wires is worth over $400 billion per year. And considering that energy is a fundamental input across the economy, the Commission's impact can be multiplied significantly. Most Americans feel the effect of FERC's decision in hundreds of individual cases and controversies. Ultimately, though, what we're talking about is money from their pockets and the quality of their energy service. More and more, though, we're hearing concerns about encroachment on FERC's fundamental mi mission. It appears that the administration is intent on transforming the very nature of energy production and use, regardless of costs or sometimes even feasibility. Considering electricity alone just one of the energy sectors that are regulated by FERC, I've noted for years now that the EPA is releasing an unrelenting onslaught of new and, and unduly burdensome federal regulations, particularly in combination with one another, these rules could seriously challenge the reliability of our nation's grid system and push more Americans into energy insecurity. As, as I discussed last week with, with Ms. Honorable, if, if you are confirmed, I'm counting on you to champion FERC's role as the federal agency with responsibility for electric reliability. We need the FERC to stand up in interagency dialogues and guard against federal regulations that will make our electricity less secure and more expensive. I would hope that you'll agree with me and your future colleagues, Commissioners Moeller and Clark, that FERC must be a stronger voice for balance. And I would think that one immediate step would be for the FERC to accept a request that I made last week with Chairman Upton and Whitfield to convene a technical conference on this subject as soon as possible. Again, I'm glad that we have this hearing this morning. Uh, given the, the controversy surrounding the Commission and its work since 2009, I think we need to make sure that as a committee we give Ms. Honorable sufficient time to provide thorough and complete answers to the questions that Senators may submit for the record. I would also like to remind my colleagues that we've got six nominations pending on the Senate calendar that have been approved by the Energy Committee. Uh, we did process a couple today. Uh, but most of the nominees are for the Department of Energy. They've been pending since January, if not longer. I, I have told Secretary Moniz, and I think we would all agree, that he deserves to have his team in place, so I would hope that we can clear those nominees before the end of this Congress, including that of Ms. Honorable. 